In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a list containing the Fibonacci sequence in Python. So the Fibonacci sequence is a famous sequence in mathematics. The first two numbers in the sequence are 0 and 1. And then each additional number in the sequence is defined as the sum of the previous two numbers in the sequence. So the third number in the sequence 1 is the sum of 0 and 1. Then the fourth number in the sequence 2 is the sum of 1 and 1. And the fifth number in the sequence 3 is the sum of 1 and 2. And so on for the rest of the numbers in the sequence. Let's create a Python program to generate a list containing the n first numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. We'll create a function to generate the list. We'll call the function createFibSequence, and the function will have a parameter n, where the function is going to return the first n numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Now, if n is less than or equal to zero, this doesn't really make sense as a value for n. So in this case, we're going to return the empty list, or we could return the value none. Either could make sense. Otherwise, if n is equal to 1, we're going to return a list containing only the first number in the Fibonacci sequence, which is going to be 0. Otherwise, n must be greater than or equal to 2. And in that case, we'll initialize a list fibs with the numbers 0 and 1 the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Then we'll go through and append the next n minus two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence to this list. We'll use a loop to do that. We'll have here for i in range two to n. So this loop is going to run n minus two times, which is exactly what we want because we already have the first two numbers in the sequence. And each time this loop body runs, we're going to add the next number in the sequence to this list. And if we're trying to return a list containing the first n numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, and we already have the first two, we want this loop to run n minus two times. Now we're not going to actually use the variable i, but the way this loop works is that with each loop iteration, i is going to be set to the next integer in the range from two up until, but not including, n. So for example, if n is 5, in the first loop iteration, i is going to be set to 2. Then in the next loop iteration, i is going to be set to 3. Then in the next loop iteration, i is going to be set to 4. And then the loop is going to stop. Now notably, this means when n is 2, this loop body is never going to run. But again, that's exactly what we want, because fibs already contains the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. So after this loop is done, we're going to return fibs. Now in the loop body, what we're going to do is continually append the next number in the Fibonacci sequence to this list. We'll have here fibs.append. And to generate the next number in the sequence, we'll take the last two numbers in the list and add them together. We'll have here fibs at the index negative one plus fibs at the index negative two. So here we're using negative indexing to get the last two numbers in this list, where negative one gives us the last item in this list, and negative two gives us the second last item in this list. In other words, the last two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, and we add them together to give us the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. So for example, in the first iteration of the loop, fibs at the index negative one would be one, and fibs at the index negative two would be zero. These numbers would be added together and the result one would be appended to the list. Then in the next loop iteration, fibs at the index negative one is one and fibs at the index negative two is one. These two numbers would be added together and the sum two would be appended to the list. Then in the next loop iteration, fibs at the index negative one would be two and fibs at the index negative two would be one. These two numbers would be added together and the sum three would be appended to the list and so on. So let's test out this function. Down here, we'll call create fib sequence. It will pass it maybe 10 and we'll output the resulting list using print. Then we'll save the program and run it. 
and we'll get here the list containing the first 10 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. So this is how we can generate a list containing the first n numbers of the Fibonacci sequence using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.